I'm going to tell you five free agents that Everton should be looking to sign this summer. Hello, welcome to Toffee TV. Everton are struggling financially, I think that's fair to say. We all know it. There's no point trying to hide from it. And the manager and Kevin Thelwell, director of football, have talked about having to be creative this summer, using free market, using the low market, as well as trying to raise cash from player sales. So today, I'm going to be looking at some free agents that Everton could potentially be looking at to bring in. Why not? Let's get into it. First one is Leicester City midfielder Wilfred Ndidi. Indeed, he was very, very highly rated about 18 months ago. Lots of bigger clubs looking at him. Uh, last season for Leicester City in the Championship, he played 36 times. He scored six goals. He is obviously a central midfielder, a defensive midfielder as well, of course. Uh, his contract expires on the 30th of June. He's 27 years of age. Now, Everton... Lots of talk around Amadou Onana leaving the football club this summer. He's away at the Euros with Belgium. He's, I think his latest interview talked about creating a situation where a lot of clubs have come after him because of his performances at the Euros. And if Everton are to lose him, they're going to need a midfield player to go and sit in there. And indeed, he, like I said before, very highly rated about 18 months ago. Uh, Chelsea were very, very interested in taking him. He has come to the end of his contract at Leicester. I think they do want to keep him, but he is out of contract on the 30th of June. He will be a good signing, I think, for Sean Dyche's men. If Everton could get him, bring him in, put him in that midfield alongside the Dresha Garner Gay, maybe James Garner. You know, very experienced player now. And just what Everton need, good physique, good age as well. And this is definitely one I think Everton should be looking to bring in, making inquiries about him. And if it's a free transfer then all the better for us because like I said in the intro we are going to be cash strapped and it's going to be the money that we have we're going to have to spread very very evenly across it but it will be a thin spreading of that money because there isn't tons with the PSR requirements as well of course so for me Wilfred Ndidi is definitely one that director of football Kevin Thelwell and manager Sean Dyche should be looking to bring in this summer to Goodison Park Moving on, the next player I think Everton should be looking at is a left-back. Uh, Vitaly Mikhalenko is obviously Everton's first choice left-back. Had a really good season last season and has gone away to the Euros with the Ukraine. But Everton have got nobody else's backup really or anybody to challenge him. Last season it was 38-year-old Ashley Young. But there is a free transfer playing in Spain, playing for Real Betis, and that is... Juan Miranda. Now, this one might be a little bit unrealistic because there's a couple of clubs sniffing around him, but he is a very, very good age, age 24. We have a look there. Left back, played 32 times last season for Real Batiste, scoring two goals. His contract is up on the 30th of June as well. He's 24 years old. Now, this player would come in and challenge Michalenko immediately to be the first choice left back like I say a few clubs are uh, sniffing around him he started his career at Barcelona he's had some loans away went to Batiste really done well there on loan and they signed him permanently and he is coming out of contract he's had links with uh, West Ham United with Lopetegu going in there he's uh, interested in taking him as well and listen if it's a straight choice between Everton and West Ham and he's playing for a Spanish manager, then he probably would end up at West Ham. But it's an interesting one, this, because of his age, because Everton are crying out for another left-back. And this player is a very, very good player. And I think, again, a free transfer for what Everton are trying to do right now might be a sensible option for Sean Dyche and Kevin Thelwell this summer. Next player I'm looking at is Ryan Sessegnon, the Tottenham Hotspur left-back, left-wing-back, left-winger, whichever way you want to play him. Uh, he only featured twice for Spurs last season due to bad injuries, had injury um, surgery on his hamstrings, really, really struggled last season. But he is free, he is a good age. We're going to look at his career stats here. We can see he's played uh, left-back or left-side of midfield. He's played 200 career games and scored 30 goals in that time. He is a free agent, like I've just said. And at 24 years of age, if you could keep him fit, he will. I think he'd be a really good addition. He is quick. Like I say, he's got an eye for goal. Gets up and down that left-hand side really well. Good left foot on him. Again, 
I know people will be screaming at, at the screen now because Everton can't really afford to take gambles on players with injury records like that. The last one we took from Spurs, Delhi has hardly featured. But I think Session will be a good pickup for someone, especially apparently, you know, he's recovering and he'll be fine now after this latest surgery. However, that is a big gamble, of course it is. But he's a player who I've always liked, done very well at Fulham. And I thought he'd do really well at Spurs. And I think the injuries have seriously hampered them there. But who knows? If it isn't Everton, someone else I think will get a good uh, a good player there. And again, like I said before, when I was speaking about Miranda, Everton are looking for someone who can challenge Michalenko and for someone who can play in two or three positions and is available at a good age and free. He could be a good pickup. Who knows? Let me know what you think in the comment section below about Ryan Session. Is it just too much of a gamble for Everton to take right now? Number four in my list is Marseille midfielder Papa Guy. This player caused a little bit of a uh, storm. He agreed to join Watford from Le Havre, signed a five-year deal, and then changed his mind within uh, 12 hours, I think it was, and wanted to join Marseille instead. That got involved... Both clubs involved in a wrangle. He ended up being suspended for four months because of it. Uh, but he is out of contract at the end of June. Let's have a look at his numbers here. He played 15 times last season. Uh, one goal. He is a free agent. He's 25 years of age. He's a long rangey combative midfield player. He's been capped by Senegal over 20 times. And like I say, I think, as I mentioned before, about Amadou Onana potentially leaving the club this summer. Him at a great age coming in on a free transfer. Like, he was really, really highly rated when Watford went after him. He really was. And he was gone to Marseille and he's had mixed things there, certainly because of the ban and everything else that's gone on there. But he could be a really good pickup for Everton if they're looking to bring in midfield reinforcements with that physicality as well that they're looking for in midfield and, and a good age as well. So Papa Guy should well be on Kevin Thelwell and Sean Dyche's list this summer. Will Everton respond? Will Everton go after someone like him? We'll have to wait and see, but he's certainly an interesting proposition for whoever gets him this summer. And my final choice in this top five freeze Everton should be looking at this summer is a bit of a left field choice. And uh, he does play on the left as well, can also play on the right. It is Athletic Club Bilbao's left side of player Alex Berengua. He is a free transfer or available uh, as a free transfer on the 30th of June when his contract expires. I'm sure Athletic Club are looking to keep him as well. Let's have a look at his numbers from last season. He played 41 times last season. He can play, like I just said, on the left wing, on the right wing. He scored eight goals. Uh, he is a free agent from the 30th of June. He is age 28. Good dribbling ability, good bit of pace either side. I think that's exactly what Sean Dyche is looking for. Everton simply didn't get enough goals from the wide areas last season. I know there's a lot of talk about Jack Harrison maybe coming back in uh, on loan again from Leeds United this season. But Everton are in the market for another winger. And I think Beren Gua could be that man, especially free transfer. Why not? You know, someone who can do either wing with a good little eye for goal as well. It's what Everton are absolutely lacking in. So maybe, maybe Kevin Thelwell and Sean Dyche will be looking towards Berengue to come in. Why wouldn't you? Free transfer, build this squad up a little bit, get some goals in the process. Let me know what you think in the comments section below about the five players that I have put in who are available. The potential on free transfers from the 30th of June. There's others that could have gone in there and Dombele was one. But I've changed my mind after seeing some of the pictures from Galatasaray. But I think he's he's someone who someone could get and really do well with a free transfer. There's also Chris Wood, uh, who looks as though he may leave Forest on the 30th of June as well. So there's still a couple of ones that uh, could Everton could be looking at as well. But let me know anyone I've missed off who's a free transfer from the 30th of June that you'd like to see at the club. And let me know what you think and of any of the five that I have picked out today. Hit the like button, subscribe. If you haven't, see you later.